next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, if you choose to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and stand and trade with this young man, you're playing with fire. Frightening knockout power. Go look at the highlight reel. As good a reel as anybody in the sport, you can be sure he'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands early and often. You do not want to get in a slugfest with this young contender, I can assure you of that. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. Well, Joe Rogan, this is as accomplished a kickboxer as has made the walk to the UFC octagon as we've seen in the last several years. I'm excited to see his kickboxing skills on display in this particular matchup. Really a nice arsenal of kicks. He'll attack that lead leg beautifully. Not to mention the solid punching technique that he brings to the table. This man is a danger for anyone in his striking range. When that octagon door closes, we're expecting fireworks tonight. This fighter has outstanding footwork. He is amongst the best in the world at changing angles and always being in a position where he can land against his opponent, but he's out of range of his opponent's counterattacks. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan. Lee! And now the music is about it, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of New York, New York, the Assassin! Now when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the Let's octagon for this one. You ready? Let's go, come on! Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is, and that was really the shot heard around the world to get the finish here in the first round. Again, maybe he caught the guy cold a little bit. He didn't have a chance to warm up, but that is a huge result for him here tonight, and on the other side, he didn't take much damage. So, big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Look at this. Boom! And then he's out. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by so just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big